Senator Manchin. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, Secretary, uh, I was pleased to see the departments finalize the rule implementing the Jessica Grubbs Legacy Act we worked on for so long. Uh, the law reduces barriers for treating persons with substance abuse disorder by aligning the privacy laws governing the records with HIPAA, the law which governs all other health uh, uh, privacy records. This has allowed for medical professionals to access vital information they need to properly coordinate the care. In 2018, Congress passed a separate law in honor of Jessica, Jesse Grubbs' life, just called Jesse's Law. This requires HHS to develop best practices standards for hospitals and doctors to display a patient's history of opioid disorder when the patient provides that information. With the implement, implementation of the Legacy Act, it's now time to fully implement Jesse's Law. So the department has finalized the rule on confidentiality of substance use disorder patient records. When will we be, when will it be releasing best practices for displaying opioid use disorder in patient records? Senator, first, uh, thank you for the work you've done because I don't think people recognize that in many cases because of this, I don't want to call it an excuse, because of the difficulties with privacy laws, HIPAA privacy laws, a lot of essential information about a, a, a patient wasn't getting to the providers and they were making the wrong decisions, especially when it related to drug addiction. And so the work that you and your colleagues have done has really helped. Well, Senator Capito and I worked on it, but we know the family very well. It was so horrifying. This young lady had problems and something stemmed from when she was in college, but then she was trying to get herself clean. She started running and being competitive. Yep. And she and her parents, who uh, an attorney and her mother's an uh, educator, both went with her to the hospital and said, please identify and mark my record showing it. And they forgot to do it. Yep. And so what we're doing is we're trying to tackle that HIPAA privacy mm -hmm. hurdle so that it doesn't become the reason the information isn't fully there. But you can understand how important it is to maintain privacy. Oh, uh, no, we know that. But now that we've done everything, we've gone through every hoop possible, yep. when will you all be doing? When, when can we expect it to finally we, we are now working with providers. We've developed a training module so that they understand how this can work, how they can be consistent with privacy laws, yet still include the information. So a lot of it's going to be, and we can use your help, because we need providers to start understanding what the new rules are. They're going to say to you, oh, no, we can't do that because of HIPAA privacy. We want them to understand, oh, no, no. Well, I think it's very different. clear. Basically, it says that the patient himself and the, and the guardians have to have permission and give you permission to yeah. do it. Yeah. So with all, we thought we crossed every hurdle, yeah. crossed every T dot, every I. Yep. It's just time, time to implement yeah. it. So I would implore you to yep. we're, get, we're doing your, it. get your staff moving on this one here. We've waited a long time for it. And Senator, I'm just, I'm just pointing out, we need the help of the providers to make sure that they're getting their personnel to understand the new rules. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think the quicker you put them out, the quicker they'll understand them. Absolutely. The Health Resources and Service Administration administers grants and programs that are, to, that are critical to rural health centers and clinics and hospitals. Your budget requests a $2 billion increase to this agency to carry out these programs. However, many areas of West Virginia remain unable to access uh, these resources. West Virginia is the only state that lies completely within the Appalachian Mountain region. The United States Department of Agriculture, Economic Research Services recognize the unique topography. We're the most rugged mountain estate, you know, uh, uh, east of the Mississippi. Uh, and a recent report on what we call rugged terrain. That's all been identified and how we've been classified. The report found that almost 81% of West Virginians live in a rugged area. That's compared to just 11.7% of the entire United States population. The fiscal year 2024 bill included language for HRSA to review this report to update their rural definition to better capture the uniqueness of Appalachia. Can you provide an update on this review and a timeline for when we're going to see some results so they can qualify for the needed funds they need for rural health care? So uh, we're not waiting. As you know, Senator, we are moving forward with a, uh, a new classification, this new classification for hospitals that don't meet the critical access care definition so that a lot of those facilities that are teetering don't go under so they can get some additional funding. Uh, I was uh, mentioning to Senator Capito some of the work we're doing to make uh, further investments in behavioral health, especially in substance use. Uh, but we are absolutely prepared to work with you as you 
all give us some guidance about how to get into these communities that are very rural to make sure we're being as constructive as possible. We will work with the states as much as we can because they understand better what their state needs in terms of the rural health facilities. But we're trying to make sure that these new changes that you helped us put forward will help uh, some of the states that have large rural communities address the concerns of individuals a lot faster. Well, sir, I thank you for your service. I just want to say again on Jesse's Law, that has been a long time in coming, okay? And the families have just they're hanging on needles and pins, just waiting for it to be completed. They want to save lives. They don't want anyone to go through what they've gone through. And on the rural classification, if you want to know why that divide is becoming bigger and bigger, rural areas have been left behind. The money has not gone appropriately for the challenges they have. And that's so important. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you.